welcome to vtech today we are going to discuss about the topic uh, source coding one of the important topics in digital communication system so digital communication is nothing but transmitting of digital information from one place to another what is the basic difference between digital communication and analog communication is simple in terms of digital coding is available in terms of analog coding is not available so what is source coding what are the topics in source coding so some of the topics in source coding are related with the entropy so entropy is nothing but average information how many number of messages are transmitted with respect to time period so in source coding what are the different types of coding techniques available how the coding process will takes place we will explain first in source coding the basic concept is information rate because information rate is in terms of the information theory the rate at which the messages are generated and transmitted the rate the messages are generated average information and the rate at which the messages are generated is simply said to be small r average information is nothing but capital h therefore capital r is equal to capital r is nothing but information rate it is simple the product of small r and h here h is nothing but entropy or average information so what are the advantages of source inf- source coding because the, there are few advantages of coding techniques in terms of the digital communication when it is compared with the analog so some of the examples it improves the information transmission rate with the help of the coding it can improve the information rate source coding theorem gives the performance continuous and discrete channels so performance always increases with respect to the transmitting and receiving of the data so from the data transmission and information theory we know that if the messages have different probabilities they are assigned same number of binary digits then information carrying capability of binary psm is not uh, completely utilized so with the kind of coding with the kind of source coding the efficiency of the channel is completely utilized as compared to information theory next one in this uh, the actual information rate is less than the maximum utilization available rate so there is a large gap between the available rate and the information rate at which the messages are transmitted so to overcome the deficiency we go for the source coding the fourth one the device which performs source coding is called source encoder source is nothing but data we can encode data digital form to some another form by transmitting in the other form it is very secure efficient source coder encoders can be designed with the give statistical properties of the source how many number of messages are trans generated how many number of messages are transmitted what is the efficiency of the system those things can be easy easily calculated with the help of the source coding example the messages occurring frequently can be assigned short code so if the same message is repeated number of times it can be assigned a simple short code that's why the information rate is very high and the messages which occur rarely are assigned long so some of the messages regularly repeated or assigned with kind of code very short code some of the messages largely with some kind of time period are generated with the large code words so the code word is also called as a variable length coding it depends on the number of bits 4 bits 5 bits 6 bits we can explain in the future so before going to source coding what is redundancy how redundancy can be avoided with respect to the probability if redundancy increases uncertainty increases probability also increases so probability increases information rate also increases so in terms of the communication system we can related each and every concept with respect to the probability because the messages x is transmitted from the transmitter what is the chance to get the message at the receiver is simple we can relate with respect to the probability so by using source coding technique we can transmit single message one message one probability no problem but information theory one message more number of probabilities if one message represents more number of probabilities then the redundancy is very high in terms of the information theory so to reduce the redundancy to reduce the uncertainty we introduce the concept uh, which is nothing but uh, source coding right to decrease the probability of the messages exactly receive we use a, com- some kind of coding which is nothing but source coding so here what are the basic requirements this is the one of the important topic what are the basic requirements in terms of the source coding simple the code words generated by the encoder should be in binary in nature it should be either 0 or 1 the code what we are is going to be generated always in terms of the binary in nature second 
the source code should be unique in nature for one message it should be only one code the same code cannot be repeated more than one message every code word should be repeat a unique message let there are l number of messages capital l number of messages entered by the source probability of the kth message the source coding can be related like this n bar is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to l minus 1 pk into nk pk is nothing but probability of the kth message nk is nothing but nth message here k is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 like this so nk is simple number of bits pk is nothing but number of bits with respect to probabilities so the average number of bits n bar in the code word can be represented like this summation k is equal to 0 to l minus 1 pk into nk where pk is probability of the k bits uh, nk is nothing but number of bits let n, n minimum be the value of n bar average code word length it can be represented by efficiency eta is equal to n minimum by n bar n minimum by n bar n bar can be calculated from the formula one n minimum is nothing but minimum value of n bar efficiency generally calculated with respect to the total number of codes to the minimum code so minimum code word by total number of codes the source encoder is called efficient if code efficiency approaches to unity if it approaches to unity the value is one then we can find out the efficiency of the coding system the value of n minimum can be determined with the help of shannon's first theorem it is called source coding theorem so in this concepts we can explain shannon fano coding huffman coding what how the coding will be generated how the data is going to be transmitted so after the coding is generated the modulation process will take place so the first one shannon first theorem in terms of the exam point of view state and explain shannon theorem so what is the statement results how it can be derived the first thing for a given discrete memory less source of entropy discrete memory less source so discrete memory less source is simple the present output depends upon the present input discrete memory less system or discrete memory less source is nothing but the present output will depends upon the present input here source of entropy capital h which is nothing but average information the average code word length is n bar for any distortion less it can be represented n bar greater than or equal to h n bar is nothing but average code word length is always greater than or equal to entropy here the entropy capital h represents fundamental limit on the average number of bits per symbol that is capital n average information has less number of bits so this can be represented like this the source encoder eta is equal to h by n bar where h is nothing but n minimum h is nothing but n minimum number of bits can be generated with respect to time so efficiency eta is equal to h by n bar h is nothing but average information entropy or n bar is nothing but average code word length so the code redundancy after calculating the efficiency the code redundancy can be calculated r is equal to 1 minus eta r is equal to 1 minus eta so if the message of redundancy of bits in encoded message of a sequence it can be redundancy can be calculated like this r is equal to 1 minus eta so redundancy should be always as low as possible if redundancy is high then obviously the data is always a complexity so to reduce the complexity the redundancy should always maintain a certain low level so code variance so how we can calculate the code variance the variance is always can be represented sigma square sigma square is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to l minus 1 pk probability into nk minus n bar nk is nothing but number of bits n bar is nothing but average code word length n bar is nothing but average code word length here variance probability of the kth symbol number of bits assigned to kth symbol n bar average code word length so from this basic concepts we can calculate it n bar n bar greater than or equal to h the shannon fano first theorem the second theorem code redundancy code variance these are the example these are the problems asked in the exam how we can calculate a redundancy how we calculate a code efficiency code word length how we calculate information rate so variance is measure of variability in code word length variance should always small so second important concept is said to be entropy entropy coding is nothing but uh, average information coding so in this uh, the first thing is uh, to be shown and fado coding so how the data is to be coded so some kind of coding is also available linear convol linear co block codes convolution codes those are different so the basic information must be converted in the beginning of the communication system with the help of shannon fano coding 
So for example, in, in, in exome point of view, explain about the Shannon Fano coding with some kind of example. So we can first choose the information, how many number of messages are transmitted with respect to messages, probabilities are given by changing or by adding the probabilities we can assign the code. Simple example here, Shannon Fano coding, here we are transmitting total 8 number of messages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here each and every probability you can observe first you can write down from high to low. High to low in the sense in this the message 1 probability is 16 by 32. Message 2 4 by 32. Message 3 4 by 32. Message 4 2 by 32. If you can add all the probabilities 32 by 32 that is equal to 1. Maximum value of probability is always 1. So before going to done this problem the first thing is if you can add all the probabilities the probability is equal to 1 the given information is right so in the first concept what we have done is simple divide the total probabilities into two halves divide the total probabilities into two halves in this the first one is 16 by 32 if you can add that all to all remaining messages the message one probability is 16 by 32 remaining m2 m3 m4 m5 you can add 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 2, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So you can divide half equally. You can assign 0 and all are ones to the first stage 1. So how many number of messages? What are their probability? You can arrange their probabilities in a particular order, descending order from the top to bottom. Then you can choose what is the probability exactly. You can divide half one part remaining one part here m1 consists of 16 by 32 you can assign zero all other information is uh, one coming to second one stage two so zero this can be neglected the second part is 4 by 32 4 by 32 so in 32 the half is 16 it is done again 16 the half is 8 so message 2 message 3 itself 4 by 32 plus 4 by 32 the remaining are 8 by 32 so you can divide this one 0 0 you can keep all ones in the first part what we have done 16 by 32 16 by 32 is assigned by 0 remaining all probabilities assigned by 1 in the second step two messages it consists of two messages 4 by 32 4 by 32 so you can assign two zeros remaining all ones in the third stage what we have to do in the third stage 4 by 38 so you can divide this one 4 by 32 remaining so you can assign this one 0 1 remaining 0 0 all are 1 again you can divide this one again 0 1 0 1 1 again this one 0 1 in this way you can assign the coding very easy if you follow the first probabilities are arranged in a manner divide the total here the maximum is 32 you can divide two parts 16 one part remaining all one part assign 16 by 32 with 0 that is the first thing 0 again 1 again in terms of 16 8 again 8 4 4 in terms of 2 2 in terms of 5 finally this one will be happen so what is the code word length of m1 for m1 the code word is 0 for m2 100 0, 0. for m3 101 for m4 1100 for m5 1101 for m6 3110 is there any kind of code is repeated for the same message no we can give a for each and every message with a unique code that is the concept of source coding so shannon fano coding here in terms of the shannon fano coding we can divide the probabilities and assign the bits 0 remaining all 1 highest 0 remaining all 1 if there are two highest probabilities we can assign 0 0 then 0 1 so for message 1 it is 0 message 2 3 bits 1 0 0 4 5 5 5 5 finally 5 ones this is shannon fano coding the second one Hoffman coding so in this shannon fano coding each and every message itself having different kind of code thank you